Yo guys, how's it going? We're back for another episode of our Rayo career mode on FIFA 19. Starting off today's episode with a game in the league against Nastic. Hopefully I try and get the three points out of this one. In the last episode we didn't do too brilliant there, not too bad there, but the, you know what I mean. It's one of them tipsy turvy games and at the end of the day if we can get a good amount of goals out of this one, you can see we have scored 13 so far which is not bad at all as um, Vialba I believe has scored a lot of those goals and he has been to a proven to be an absolute asset to our side and hopefully in this one we'll be able to come out of it with the three points and get ourselves on the way to winning another game and hopefully like I say with this side I'd really I'm hoping to get because it's sort of a um like road to glory sort of career mode I really need to get promoted this season and this all these games are going to be very crucial to me doing that if I can possibly as Luso <coughs> for the first attack picks the ball up gives the ball to Viabre who gets it back to him Etu plays it into Viabre who takes the shot it hits the bar and the lads get the ball clear which was very unlucky for us but then Nastic start to come forward on their own attack here as you see they're attacking down their right hand side Lopez the two uh, wing backs play the ball between each other it gets whipped in and it ends up in the back of the net to make it 1-0 and that is not the sort of start we wanted like I say 14 minutes in 1-0 down yeah. honestly it's not really not what we wanted at all when you think we were looking at this one to sort of be be like a push on for the rest of the season every single one of these games are really going to be like a push on for the rest of the season but honestly when you start games like this it just really demotes, demotivates me slash the side as well I guess and it really does not help at all but hopefully we can push on after this goal went in and actually try and get ourselves out of the uh, sticky situation we found ourselves in as Morales plays the ball down the wing to Alex uh, Garcia who tries to cut inside, he tries to get a cross in, it gets a bit lucky, we take the shot and luckily for them the keeper makes the save, fair enough it was straight at the keeper but I think we really should have done a bit better there as you see we did have a bit of a bit of luck getting into the box to start with but anyway we do come forward on another attack from a throw in as Oscar Valentin gets the ball to give it to Tony Martinez. He tries to play the ball off, it really doesn't work. The ball gets cleared, but only as far as Morales. We get into the centre. Martinez picks the ball up, gives it to Etu, takes the shot, the keeper saves it. The defence keeps it out somehow here as it is really a scramble as Oscar Valentin steps up, takes the shot, and finds the bottom corner. And as you see, just as we score that goal, the amount of shots we had in this uh, half, nine shots compared to their one, is just stupid. But that was our goal to get us back on level peggings, and it was a very nice finish at the keeper's near post there from Valentin. Gets the ball, brilliant finish to be honest, a side-footed finish from outside the box and makes it 1-1 one, one at this point, which was brilliant for for us to see to get us back into the game and at this point we found a bit of motivation and started coming forward to try and press for the, uh, the winning goal as you see we do come forward on our right hand side with Cancel and getting the ball trying to feed it inside to Valentin who gives it to Luso finds Etu who finds the Albre he takes the shot but this time from outside the post the keeper wasn't getting it beaten at his near post this time it was a decent piece of play there though and it was something to build on but the keeper was equal to that one this time as we try and play out of our own box we get uh, out of our own half they come forward and steal the ball get the ball into the box they get a bit lucky we try and clear the ball and it doesn't work it lands straight at their striker's feet he takes the shot and the amount of fuckeries in this goal is stupid but it does end up in the back of the net and means we do go 2-1 down and go back behind for the second time in this game and like I say there were so many fuckabouts on this goal that we really should have done a hell of a lot better but at the end of the day they take their chance as TT as you see here gets the shot off 
straight into that top corner at the keeper's near post. And again, we do go behind. And like I say, at this point, we're really not playing too well. And it's really showing at the minute. And we really need to be improving. But that is how that match ends. We do lose it 2-1. And like I say, it's just not good enough from us at the minute. We really should be playing better. Really, really badly at the moment. And like I say, we're creating the chances, but we're not finishing on, and we're just giving away stupid opportunities to our opposition. And in this one, they were clin clinical enough to take it, as they do win it 2-1. And like I say, it's not the start to the episode that we would, that we did want, but it is the one that we got, and we go straight into a training session after this. So we really needed to improve the players after seeing a performance like that but we do go into our second and final game of today's episode against uh, Depo, uh, Depo, uh, Depo I, can, I normally can't pronounce these names but today my mouth is failing on me so I ain't even gonna bother trying and like I say they do take uh, uh, they are a very good team one of the best teams in the league I believe they were a very decent side before so I don't know how they've fallen so far, especially with a team like that. They've got some very good players in there, like Carlos Gill, um, Krohn Della, and a couple of others that are in there. There are very good uh, players in that side, and the players that I'd actually like to have myself. But like I say, we have got some very decent players, and the team playing well together at the moment, which is the main thing for us. And hopefully, like I say, we can get ourselves off to a bit of a... a, a at least a good start in this game is what I was look, looking for because in the game so far this season with this side we've really not done very well at like creating chances in the early stages as they do come forward on the first attack of the game straight from kickoff getting the ball down that left hand side they whip across in it ends up in the back of the net after a header from their, uh, the depot, depot port I can't pronounce it, I ain't even going to try again. And it does end up in the back of the net from the striker. It was a very decent piece of play. We really defended that horribly. No one tried to jump for the ball or anything. We had two men on him, as you see here, but neither of them got to him. And it ends up in the back of the net. The keeper definitely should have done better as well. But like I say, if he didn't get it, then the lad behind him definitely would have. So at the end of the day, it's one or the other. And it did end up in the back of the net and straight from kickoff. Like I just said, we were looking for a good start in this game. But Borja uh, Valle doesn't let us do that at all. He puts his behind within three minutes of the game starting. But straight from kickoff after this goal, we do decide to step our game up that little bit as Morella gets down this wing, gives it to Bustos, who plays it inside to Diabre, he plays it out to Alex Garcia, who messes up but gets the ball back, look there, he whips the ball to the far post, but Rui Bao gets his header blocked by the defender, and it does go behind for a corner, which we do go ahead and take here, as you see, Garcia whips the ball into the near post, Diabre gets his head to it, but again, the defence is there to keep it at 1-0. Like I say, but after that goal, we really did put the pressure on uh, this side and really started to push them. As you see here, we get very lucky from the keeper's save from the head off from the second corner. But Bustos does turn it into the back of the net to make it 1-0. And I would have enjoyed it if it was the Alvarez goal. But it, at the end of the day, keeper made a very good save there. And was unlucky that it just bounced into the path of uh, Bustos, who finds the back of the net with his head and makes it 1 0 at uh, one apiece. Sorry, after going down 1 0 so early and then pushing back to get us back on level peggings a few minutes later it was brilliant to see from our side. And Alvaro Bustos gets the goal to do so. And that was literally it for that half. Then two goals and that was it. As then we come forward from kickoff in the 45th minute. And Bustos gets on the ball again. He plays it out to Varela. He finds some space. He tries to cut inside. It comes back to Bustos who gives it to Lusso. Takes the shot and it ends up in the back of the net. From a little deflection I believe. Off the Depot, Depot Portive player. Who's... Uh, 
the defender, it hits the defender on his side, it ends up in the back of the net. And honestly, what a brilliant turnaround from the boys this was. As you see, he didn't start well at all. So it would have been very, very easy for our players to lose confidence and all stuff like that. But they didn't do that and we really did push on and get the goals that we really needed to put us back into the lead. As you see there, we did get very lucky from that little deflection, took it away from the keeper. And it ended up in the back of the net with Lusso getting his second goal of the season. But straight from kickoff, Divo Portiv come forward on a got, uh, chance to try and get themselves back in this game. And back on level terms. As like I say, it seemed like both halves kicked off. And that's the time like there was like a 5 or 10 minute period where everyone had come on an attack. And this is one of them. As you see, they come forward to try and get the ball clear. It wasn't a good clearance at all. So we do try and play our way out from the back. We do so with Lusso coming on a bit of a counter-attack here, playing it to Martinez, who finds Villabre, playing it outside to Garcia, who finds his way into a lot of open space. He slows up the play a little bit, but Bustos gets the ball. It comes to Rui Bao, who passes it inside to Tony Martinez, and the defender blocks the shot. It was a good piece of attacking play from us though, creating good chances. I really thought that Martinez was offside there when I passed to him. That is why I was going to take the shot first time instead of taking my time with it a little bit. But at the end of the day, it didn't come anything of the corner. But we do put the pressure on Depot Portive even more as they come forward on another attack. And Vialbre finds the back of the net. To make it 3-1 with a little side-footed finish into the back of the net. It was a brilliant play, piece of play to be fair from the lads. But at the end of the day it was not very good defending from their team. As you see he just leaves his man. It, it leaves him in a lot of space. And it was a very nicely executed finish to be fair. To find it in that sort of angle. The only place that he could have really put it without putting it wide or uh, onto the defender's foot. But it was a brilliant piece of play. And it does mean that we now go 3-1 up. Don't forget we went 1-0 down in 3 minutes. And we are now 3-1 up in the 63rd. As we try and increase our lead that little bit more. As Varelli finds himself some spaces. No one tries to defend against him. He plays the ball out to Garcia. Who gives it to Bustos. Tony Martinez finds Luso in a lot of space. He tries to uh, play the ball around that little bit more again. And uh, Vialba plays it to Martinez, who finds uh, a shot, but it doesn't come of anything again. And it does go wide after a def uh, deflection of the defender. I don't think it would have been went in the back of the net anyway. But at the end of the day, we've got some out of it. And that was the main thing. We were shoving threat. As you see, we do get the corner. We whip the ball in. And it is tried to be headed by that man that won the corner he doesn't get it but Jimenez tries to take the shot from outside the area and I just went for it just to try it's like I say we were winning 3-1 after going 1-0 down in three minutes I thought you know what it might actually po be possible that we could actually get this goal but as you can see there it definitely wasn't and in the 70th minute they come forward to try and close that gap that little bit and get themselves back in contention for this game Put the shot there, not very good from the Deportif man, and puts the ball wide off the post. It wasn't, it wasn't a very good shot. He tried to hit it first time and completely sliced it. It went well wide of the post, and it was never going to trouble the keeper. But we do come forward, like I say, trying to extend that lead even more. After going uh, three-one up, we really felt like we had something going. As Varela tries to take on his man, the defender nearly wins the ball. But he doesn't quite do so. Varela somehow keeps it in and it ends up getting into the box. And it ends up in the back of the net from Tony Martinez. As you would have seen from so many of the clips. He had so many shots during this game. But that was the one that found the back of the net. First time finishing to the back of the net. It was a very nice piece of play. Defender probably should have done a bit better. He was shooting across his own body there as you see. He hit it literally to the side of him. The defender had anything. And he would have, if he was in front of him, he would have got that. But he didn't do so. And it was a very nice finish from Martinez, who finds his second goal of the season. 
and like I say, that does make us four one up now. But straight from keep uh, from kick off, shall I say, they come forward trying to get themselves back in contention again, trying to close that gap that little bit more. But you could see that the their choices were really running out as we were closing them down so quickly at this point that they were making passes, but they were, we were closing them down so quickly that they had no chance of doing anything. As we win the ball and come on a counter-attack with Pencil on, on that right-hand side, he gives it to Vialbre and finds Bustos who takes the shot and finds the back of the net to make it 5-1 now. After going 1-0 down, we now have bagged five goals in, uh, I don't, no, four goals in the second half and one just before half-time. At this point, we had scored, I believe it's about um, five goals in about 40-ish minutes, which is just stupid how well we've played. and just shows how well we can play when we get ourselves going. And like I say, it's like we needed that boost at the start of this game. When we've got that goal conceded, it's like it gave our players that bit of like, oh shit, we can't just do this by playing normally. And really put them into second gear and really started dominating this side as we really didn't let off. As we come forward again with Benito taking the shot this time, but unluckily for him, the keeper makes a save on this one. As he hasn't done many of those, oh wait, no he didn't make the save, sorry, he just went well over the bar. He should have done a hell of a lot better there at least got the ball on target from that sort of position but that was all for this game we did end up winning 5-1 after going one nil down in three minutes and me just assuming that we were going to get absolutely thrashed we turned it around quickly to get ourselves the goal back in the eighth minute and from uh, like the 45th minute from that point onwards we absolutely dominated um Depot Portive and it ended up really showing in the scoreline but that is all for this episode guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all in the next one peace